the government is really happy. The Fed is not. The Fed has already stated until we can get the unemployment rate to go up. All right. Because we're at an all time low right now. People are working. They don't want that. You see, they have to put people out of work. I keep telling you people this. This is the warnings that we are seeing. And they're telling us what that's going to happen. You need to be getting prepared. You need to be making sure that whatever you are doing, you are trying to make sure that you are being ready. Because the Fed and the government, Washington, are on two different levels right now. One is saying everything is fine and dandy. There's no recession. There's no nothing. And then you have the feds that turn around and say, well, until we can actually reduce the amount of people that are finding jobs, put more people on the employment line, get more businesses to close because that's what's going to happen. And it's going to start with small businesses. A lot of the small businesses in your town are probably going to end up closing because they're not going to be able to afford to stay in business because they won't have, people won't have the money. Once they reach this point, people are not going to have the money to go out and enjoy that good time and have that dinner, um, whatever it may be. And this is what the Fed wants, all right? This is how they say they have to get this back in control. And it all stems back to the simple fact is, is they dropped the ball and they didn't start trying to recorrect a lot of this problem when they could have last year. They saw the writing on the wall. We all have been reporting this. That things were going to be happening. Things are going to, I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist, folks. You look at the, the price, how things are starting to increase. You, you look at the supply and demand. You look what we've gone through. You know, the the housing market was so far out of price, it was just ridiculous. Now it's all falling back because nobody can afford a 7 8% increase, you know, interest rate on top of their mortgage. So if you're buying a house and say it's worth $500,000, now you're tacking 7% interest on that. Most people can't afford that. And if you have a floating arm on your house, you're pretty much screwed right now. You know, in years past, that's always worked out to your benefit because the interest rates were basically almost right down to around zero. So, I mean, you were making out like a bandit. But now the table has turned and those people are going to start losing their homes because they, they can no longer afford those payments because every time the rate goes up, their payment goes up. They're being priced right out of their homes in a moment's notice. We, these high interest rates that they are running right now, and they're going to push them even higher, folks, come in 2023. Mr. Powell said that there will be no relief from these high interest rates until 2024. You get it? You see where this is going? The higher these interest rates, the more it's going to cost you to put food on the table. The more it's going to cost you to put a roof over your head for you and your family. The more it's going to cost you to put gas in your vehicles. Now, they're still talking about, I, I saw another article today, and they're still saying we have 25 days of diesel fuel left. Well, they said that last week, and now we're still at 25 days. So how much do we really have? And are they just making this number up to try to scare people? Or is this a way for them to raise the prices of diesel and the fuel oil that you people are paying um, to heat your homes this winter? So is this some way that they're using this to try to uh, make more money off of the American people? I noticed that diesel prices have slowly started climbing in my area. They were down around five, 15, 510, you know, the other, now they're up to 535, 540. Um, so, I mean, what is really going on and who do we really believe? And this is the reason why we have to make sure that we are doing everything that we can do. The warning is out there. This isn't something that we don't, we don't know what's going to happen, like what's going on with Russia and Ukraine. You know, oh, is he going to drop a bomb? Is he not going to drop a bomb? Who's going to drop the bomb? We don't know any of this kind of stuff. 
we don't know what is going to take place with this war. We don't know which direction this is going to go. You we have, do know. And we have been warned for quite a long time that these interest rate hikes are coming, that the prices are going to be going up. And we see it. You go to buy a car, costs you more. You use your credit card, cost you more. You know, a lot of people, the credit card debt in this country is the highest it has been in three decades. Think about that. A lot of people are turning to their credit cards to try to get by. Working class people are turning to their credit cards to try to get by. Is it, you know, there's ways that they could turn around and, and instead of giving money and stuff to all these other countries, especially like Ukraine, I have no problem with them still helping them out, giving them military aid. That's fine and dandy. They don't need cash. I don't buy it. And nobody is uh, watching where all this money is going. That is the real funny thing, all right? Because you're giving these people billions of dollars of cash. They just ask for it. I, I think I'm going to write a letter to uh, Joe Biden and ask him, say, hey, you know what? I mean, Ukraine needed, you know, a couple billion. I could use, a, you know, just, just about a million bucks, you know? I mean, hey, can you throw some my way or something? I mean, come on, what do you got to lose? I mean, they're, they're, just, they're just handing it out like it's candy, like it's Halloween every day at the freaking White House. We don't even know what this money's going for. We Nobody's sitting here policing where this money's going for. It's not like somebody's, you know, it's like an open checkbook here. And we need to close this damn checkbook because it's doing nothing but just killing us. Our grandchildren are going to be paying this for all this stuff. Oh, and they see, folks, this is the warnings that are out there. We know that there's so much BS that's going on. You know, I mean, we can't afford to feed the whole world. We can't afford to take care of and fight everybody's battles. And that's what it's come down to. It's everybody always comes back to us when they need help. Wow. The warning for you to be prepared has been going on. The lights and sirens have been flashing. The time to prepare is now. You have no time left, really. You need to be finishing what you are doing, how you're preparing, whatever it is you need to be doing. You have to be the ones that are taking the bull by the horns. You have to make sure that you know what to do. And that's